What's going on guys, my name is Dirinson and welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, we have an exciting topic to discuss but before we jump into that, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss any of my future videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Now, let's get started. We are talking about Blender today and this video will last forever because this is the base which is clearly free for animators, CG artists, VFX artists, movie makers, you name it. So if you click this video you are probably wondering is it possible to achieve smooth animation on Blender? Let's talk about it. How to become a pro in Blender? Familiarize yourself with the Blender interface, learn the basics, study modeling techniques, understand materials and textures, dive into animation, master lighting and rendering, expand your skills, practice, practice, practice. It's not rocket science, it's actually simple than it looks. So let me jump on the screen to break down. So when you first open it up, you are gonna get grit with this screen. You are gonna see a cube and then this little outline on it, which means it's been selected. So first thing, I wanna show how to move in Blender. Your middle mouse, your little scrolly thing, is how you zoom in and out. By holding in the middle scroll wheel on your mouse, you can rotate around the object very very nicely. Now if you hold shift and hold in your middle mouse wheel, you are now scrolling away from it. Let's see in case if you don't see your object, hold shift and your middle mouse wheel, and kind of scroll through to see everything. So this is pretty much all movement in Blender, just mouse wheel and mouse, that's it guys. So to fly around you can press Shift and F and that will put you in this free cam mode and then you can use WASD to kind of go around whatever you want to look into. Now in Blender there's something called orthographic view. I think that's how you say it. And if you have number pad on your keyboard, if you press 1, you'll flip straight to the front orthographic. If you press 3, you'll go to the right. 7 is the top and 9 is the bottom. So that's kind of how you use those. If you don't have number pad on your keyboard, you can hold Alt and your middle mouse wheel down and kind of scroll over. So right now we are on right. If we scroll over this way, we are on the front. If we do it again, left, back. If you go like this, top and bottom. So if you use hold and press down your middle mouse wheel, you are going to be all good to go. And you don't need a number pad. So I think that's everything for the movement side of things in Blender. Up next, let's get into the modes. So only two modes you really need to know as a beginner is edit mode and object mode. Right now we are in the object mode. And we can do things like scale, that's about it though. If you press tab on your keyboard, you are going to go into something called edit mode. Now as you can see, all the vertices which are these points here are like a bit darker and orange which means those are highlighted. You have three selection modes you can use in Blender. These vertices mode which we are on right now. Line select mode which as you can see, it selects the lines or phaser select mode which is probably the most used one. Now with that being said, we are going to be in the face select mode and there's really only couple hotkeys that you're gonna need to know and already couple that you're going to use. The most important thing in Blender is E. If you press E, it's going to extrude your object, giving you more of that object to work with so. Now instead of having just one face, you can have more. And then S is the second for scale. So if you press S and then just move your mouse, you can scale. Now you can click them together as well. Press E and then S. Now we are scaling the extruded piece. So you are not scaling the normal face, you are extruded it. Alright, so those are the main two hotkeys that you can use. We have R which is rotate and it's as simple as it sounds. Now if you are looking at this like an weird angle, your rotate is going to be an weird axis. But if you press R and then your direction right up here, you could see Z would move it up and down. So R and then Z, we are going to move on the axis. And then any axis is how you are going to rotate along with axis. So now you can press G on your keyboard. It's going to grab. So you can kind of just move it whatever you want to move. And then of course if you want to lock on an axis, you could press G and then whatever axis you want to lock it on this one. So I think I'm going to wrap this basic video on Blender. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, 
please comment down below what should be the next video subscribe the video turn on the bell notification icon i'll see you guys on the next video peace